Losing Kyra, a true story. We are back. And like we said, so much has occurred since last year. Since losing Kyra. Yep, since losing our baby. A lot, a lot has happened. Where should we start? <laughs> you have to write it down. Well, first of all, so much. No, we'll go in order. Okay, so we'll tell you the whole story, like what happened that day. Mm. Um, it seemed to be somewhat of a normal day. We were out that day, we were shopping. I felt a little cramps. Mm -hmm. Remember, we were at um, Sears. Yeah. We drove to Sears. Yeah. <laughs> I've, never, I, I've but, never gone back to that Sears since then. No. <laughs> okay, I've been there once with, with, with uh, Pop since then. Have you? <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. I, I was mad when I was there, too. Yeah, but earlier that day, I won't lie, I had a migraine. I had a migraine. Wow. And I remember, or it was actually when we got back. It was when we got back and, and I we took went a for nap. a walk. That was before, because we went to Sears at nighttime, right? Yeah. It was earlier in the day. Then I had we a migraine. Went for the walk. Then I woke up. I felt so much better. Mm -hmm. So then I was like, oh, yeah, let's go for a walk. You know, get some fresh air and mm -hmm. <laughs> nice breeze. We always. We, we walk we, a lot. We walk a lot. Very active, very... We always we, exercise. We love to exercise, we love to eat right, yep. healthy. So, we went, out, went, we went out for a stroll in the neighborhood. Mm -hmm. Now, as I was walking, I was like, whoa! <laughs> Cramp, like, it was like sharp pain. But I didn't think nothing of it. I'm like, whoa, wait a minute. Mm -hmm. like, you're like, baby, are you okay? You need to turn around? <laughs> I'm like, I'm okay, you know. If you don't know me, I'm I'm a fighter. I, she I pushes push it to the to, limit. To the max. <laughs> so I'm like, oh, I'm good. I'm good. Let's go. I'm okay. And then, like, I felt another sharp pain. I was like, what in the world? This is, this is something's not right. I don't know. So we took it easy. We didn't go as far as we usually walk. Mm -hmm. And we came back home. And then, um... Later on that night, we went to Sears. Yep, we, we went did shopping. the Sears thing. We went shopping, and then when we're shopping, I just felt... I for just a felt, TV. For a TV, right, that we mm -hmm. didn't even buy because the prices were just, like, ridiculous. Mm -hmm. They weren't even really on sale. And <clears throat> we love a good bargain. And I was just feeling off, just feeling off. I didn't know what it was. Just feeling off. So we left the store, came home. I cooked dinner. I didn't feel like eating. I just felt... I was just tired and just, I don't know. I just was like, here's here's your plate, baby. And I came in here and I laid down. I laid down on my bed. And then I just started having pain. I was just like, hmm. Wow, I'm having pain. And like, you know, it's subtle. I can take pain. So I'm like, okay, I'm having pain, but... You know, I'm not thinking nowhere near like I'm in labor. Uh, and the pain was not stopping. <laughs> but then when it didn't stop and it kept occurring, you know, I'm like, baby, I'm still in pain. Yeah. I don't know what's going on. Call me in there. Jay came in here too. Yeah. And you know, I didn't want to call my mom because I didn't want to scare her. But then when it kept going and it was persistent, I was like, let me call my mom. Call my mom. And you know moms know everything. <laughs> They've been through it all. So, Siobhan, go to the hospital now. You sound like you're in labor. And then it just hit. <laughs> it came crashing down like just full force pains out of nowhere. And I'm like, whoa. <laughs> As I'm on the phone and she's like, oh no, Siobhan, you're in labor. Oh, and I'm like, oh. <gasps> Oh my goodness, I mean hardcore contractions, pregnancy, pain. Mm. And so we just start getting uh, our shoes together, um, you know, our belongings, and then, you know, to head out. And all the, mo all the meanwhile, your mind's racing. I'm like, what is he doing? My husband, like, let's just go. But he's a thinker, and I know he doesn't just, like, he won't just talk out loud. I'm like, I was about ready to yell at him, like, let's go now. <laughs> and so, tell him what you were thinking. What were you going to do? You got me all lost in the story. You probably forgot. Okay, so, 
I'm just pissed because I'm in severe pain and I want to oh, leave okay. ASAP. I, I do know what I was going to do. And he's pacing and he's I do know what I was and I'm like, do. what is he doing? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So. I was going to alert our next door neighbor. Our next door neighbor is an OBGYN. Yeah. And, and, and she even came we, over. We end up having a good talk. Yeah. About her job and uh, she basically told me, hey, if, if your wife ever needs anything, let me know. Uh -huh. So I'm debating on whether should I go next door and find out if she can help uh -huh. or should we go to the hospital. Because it's 10 o'clock at night. And we don't, we moved to a new neighborhood so we weren't even sure what hospital, what hospital to go to. So yeah, we get there. So we don't call the OBGYN next no. door. We end up just leaving getting in the car and going. And the hospital that's local to our uh, our new neighborhood was about three miles, five? Five miles. About five. Five miles. About five miles. So we get there and we get into the ER. ER checks me right in. I tell them, look, I'm almost six months pregnant. I'm having severe labor pains. And they're like, oh my goodness, okay, let's rush you right up to labor and delivery. I get to labor and delivery, and oh my goodness, <laughs> it was a nightmare. It was like that was an emergency, the oh. emergency room. And for those who know what an, uh, an emergency room is in New in uh, in America, it means you wait. You yeah. don't get service. You it's wait. It's not emergency. You're pretty much on stall. So we get to emergency room, and they're just looking at me like, okay, like. Like you're not in labor and why are you up here with no paperwork? And I'm in a wheelchair because I'm having labor pain. So I didn't walk there. Uh, the ER walked me up in the wheelchair. And, and, our, and our son is there our witnessing this whole four thing. Four year old son was with us at the time. Mm -hmm. And it's just a nightmare. We're getting resistance. We're not getting a welcome. It's just antagonistic. It's just not flowing. Everybody asking, oh, and I'm did you labor. guys just finish having sex? It, it, Maybe they Did were you, having rough you sex. Just ha and I'm like, are you kidding me? Ladies, you know, when you're in labor, the worst side of you could probably come out. I just want to say, <laughs> oh, are you kidding? <laughs> the, the worst side ever can come out. Or your strongest side, whatever you want to call it. But I'm, I was just in disbelief. But I'm that didn't pain. come out of you at all. It didn't. I was just in severe pain and I'm moaning, just trying to get through the contractions. And I'm like, look, lady, this is my second child. I am in labor. You know. I'm in pain. So then um, she's like, well, you shouldn't even be up here with a toddler. And oh my goodness, I can't. I just want to get in a room and get some medical attention. And I'm worried about the safety of my wife. So. I'm not going nowhere, and no. my son is with me too. He's not going nowhere either. No, so we're like, oh well, if it's up to us, our son stays with us. And, you know, it's just, it was just us. So they finally take us into a room, and they pretty much just stick me in there. <laughs> they stick me in there. I'm on the table in severe pain. Mm. Then a, a nurse comes in, and you know, she slowly, casually, just like, hey, how are you doing? I'm not in the mood to have casual talk. I'm not. Exactly. I'm in, you can't you like see my face? I'm baby. moaning. I'm in pain. And you guys are just lackadaisical, just taking your time. Oh, like it's just nothing. So they're finally strapping the belt around me. Let's see what your contractions are. And then they finally get the belt and my contractions are off the roof. They're just going up high sky mile. And uh, so the nurse is like, oh, wow, okay. Yeah, I guess we'll get a doctor in here, but you know, doctor never came. And um, I'm just stuck in the room in pain in full labor. By then, I dilated to about 10. I was fully yeah, dilated. Yeah, you were at 10. But fully, we, were, we fully weren't dilated. told yet, but you were at 10. Yeah, we weren't told yet, but I was in severe pain and just waiting for medical attention. So finally, a doctor comes in. Doctor comes in. The nurse tells uh, the doctor the situation, and they go, go they go again through the sex thing. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, wait a minute. Don't you look kind of familiar? Aren't you my neighbor? And dun, she looks dun, dun. at me, <laughs> right? And she looks at me like, oh wow. And I guess my husband looked at her like, 
Yeah. Oh yeah, that is. I don't. That's all. That's all. I maybe before. have seen her once. Had seen her once or twice then. Mm -hmm. But I'm in labor. I'm in pain. Mm -hmm. I'm just thinking, save my child, and. I, I, rec I recognize her. I recognize her and she's like, yeah, I am. I am your neighbor. Well, wow, 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 wow. Okay, so what's going on? You know, so then we got past the sex questions. I'm like, I know I'm in labor and I'm not getting medical, medical attention. They're just brushing me off. Like I'm just, you know, by then they could have had done preventative measures to stop the labor. They could have given me shots. They could have done, done all sorts of preventative measures to prevent full on labor and at and this delivery. point I'm feeling more comfortable now because I'm like because, oh, wait a minute this is the I person that I was going I'm mm -hmm. debating on calling or going to the house right uh <laughs> to, to help with this matter so I'm like mm -hmm. okay we're in good hands I, I've spoken to this person a number of times I've spoken to this doctor so it, I, I feel more comfortable that my wife is in good hands right it's more of a we have a bigger rapport with exactly just a stranger you know she's actually our neighbor exactly <laughs> next on losing kyra your your wife you know she's fully dilated um we, we we're gonna go in and, and we're gonna uh operate on her immediately um and what we're gonna do is we're gonna do do our best to save her and save the baby um, there's no the doctor tells me oh yeah well your your wife is um, half a week before the uh, the cutoff wow. point for the needle natal care to come in and see us losing Kyra a true story.